three for five at one youngster is recorded live in front of a mythical audience. Late ill kid at one youngster doing this thing, holding it down and being so, so, so hyped to see y'all on this Thursday, man. Oh man, keeping it live for y'all. Man, oh man, am I excited. Well, uh, check it. Let's go on and get into it. This Thursday, I'm going to start off talking about that Batman v Superman Ultimate Edition. And I haven't seen the movie yet. So I'm going to come at this from a different perspective because I've only seen the theatrical cut. I haven't seen the Ultimate Cut yet. I'm going to check that out this weekend. But I did want to talk about something on the other side of the situation where you have this ultimate com cut come out. Well, you had the theatrical cut come out. And the the reviews were mixed more on the negative side of the mix. Way more on the negative side. Um, and a lot of people didn't seem to like the film as much as they wish they would have. Um, and a lot of people started pointing fingers, placing blame, you know, was it the fans to blame, was it the critics to blame, was it the editors, or whatever the case may be, but, you know, the film seemed to just not get the footing or the traction that Warner Brothers wanted. Um, now, before the film came out, Zack Snyder was quoted in a, um, I think a press junket or uh, saying that he did have a three hour or so cut of the film, uh, but they, you know, he wouldn't be able to release that because they had to cut it down. So now we have this ultimate cut, which is three hours or, you know, three, around three hours or whatever. And we're getting this extra three, you know, I mean, not three, extra 30 minutes or so that was probably missing from the theatrical cut. And the idea is this is probably not a special director's cut. This may have been the original film that um, uh, Zack Snyder submitted in the first place. Now, if this is so, why? Well, we kind of know, you know, theaters and studios mostly want to cut down the time on a film because that film could end up being, you know, it, you know, it can only show so many times and it cuts down on the amount of amount of showings you can have in a day, things like that. But um, the I guess you could say the most important conversation I think that's being missed is. Is it time for studios to, I guess, allow longer cuts or is it time for studios to. Um, I guess have a little more trust in the creative process of the people they hire. And what I mean is Zack Snyder had this cut uh, that was three hours. Uh, and I guess Zack Snyder submits the cut and he said, hey, this cut is really, really good. Uh, this is what I consider the finished product. And um, you know, I'm a creator and I made it. And, you know, I've watched it with, you know, other the other people that created it. And, and we think this is what's what's you know, gonna play well. And then, you know, the studio looks and they say, well, it's three hours, you know, we're gonna have to cut this down, we're gonna have to pare this down some. Now, I can't put this all on the studio because there's no reason you can't tell a cohesive story in two and a half hours. But if you, if you create a project that is, if you create a foundation that is built to work on three hours, once you build it to work on three hours, it's hard to make it work on two hours, two and a half hours, one and a half hours, you know? Um, and I think this is a situation where, um, you know, Zack Snyder might be slightly vindicated. Now, I haven't seen it, but the response to the ultimate cut has been um, overwhelmingly, uh, I don't know if I'd say positive, but overwhelmingly better than the theatrical cut. It seems like people that saw the theatrical cut have now seen the ultimate cut and said, you know what, this is a lot better than we, what we saw in the theater. Uh, people are saying that we will never watch the theatrical cut again. This is the, the real version of the movie. And I think that we might be entering an age where, you know, the fans are kind of 
you know, kind of stepping out and deciding and saying, hey, you know, we can take content that's a little bit longer. And maybe studios should say, well, even though we can't get as many screenings in a day, if we do allow slightly longer content, these people would most likely come back for multiple viewings. Um, I think there might be a middle road to be had, but look, chop it up with me below in the comments, yo. I'm interested to see what you guys think. Um, it does seem like, you know, Zack Snyder was on the right track. Now, I haven't seen the film. After I see the film, I'll probably chop it up with Isaac or something. But until then, y'all stay real, and I guess it's on to the next. <laughs> Today, we're gonna ask the ladies, what is it that you want a need and desire as a woman. You mean from my man or just period? From your man. I desire to be always. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. This is tough. No, it ain't tough. It is. I need him to communicate with me. Okay, let's start there. Communication is a need. Talk to me. Tell me what's going on. All that kind of good stuff. Mm -hmm. I want him to, I don't know, be sensitive maybe. I desire for him to be romantic. There you go. Okay, okay. So what you're saying is you need him to be like a smooth, uh, but, but also able to kind of like, you know, keep up with the keep up with a good conversation, yet be smooth. Okay. <laughs> I'm asking you. Yeah, I guess. I, I, but it's not about keeping up the good conversation. When I say communicate, I mean like if something's going on and I'm trying to have a conversation with you about it, I need you to actually talk to me, not just be like, "Oh, I." Right. Like that's not that's not talking to me. Oh, I right. is not an answer. I. Let's see. What what a man needs is a good woman. A good, trustworthy, loyal woman. What he wants is some peace in his home. And what he desires, maybe like a bucket of wings from time to time. You know what I'm saying? Watch the game, sit back, relax. You ain't got to do much for me. You know what I'm saying? Just sit back, relax, enjoy enjoy a couple things. Maybe uh, a nice, peaceful, quiet night with his lady. You know? She can rub his back or something. You Why know? he eat all the wings? No, he will share his wings. Like, say if, say if there's like two dozen wings. He is definitely going to give you like four of them. What's wrong with that? Why are you giving me let's that move, look? Let's move to the next question. I'm not even entertaining that. What is, what's wrong with that? I don't even see. Why can't a man? I'm a very, I, I'm very good at math. All right. And four out of two dozen, which equals 24. Maybe a woman ain't that hungry. You know how y'all be acting like y'all ain't that hungry. You don't care if she's hungry or not because you already decided she getting four wings. You could, there is a possibility for more. Move on to the next question. I'm not doing this. Lisa, there's a possibility. I'm not doing this. We're going to move to the next question. There could be more wings possible for you. Next. Why you got to hate? Probably because I'm so hungry because I need some more wings. I can't think straight. All right. I'll give you more than four wings, baby. You know I split wings down but 50% with mm -hmm. you. Half and half. Don't I share with you? You do. I, say it louder. You do. I've never had to share wings with you before, though. Because I, you order your own. Exactly. There's no reason to share. See, and when he order, said ain't no reason to share, he mean ain't no reason we need to be sharing nothing right now. Look. What do you always say? Didn't you order what you wanted? Thank you. Uh, look, ladies out there, just Women, so y'all know. We like to share. Like, we want you to sample what we ordered. And we I want, to, what want you to sample what you ordered. It's sharing. No. The experience. If you want to share something, order that joint no, off the menu. No, that's not sharing. 
That's not Look, sharing. If you want, if you want it, order That's it. That's not sharing. This anyway. is this is how I feel. I think women really want to eat more than what they order, but they're scared to order it. I don't think that's true. Anyway, that's mad true. Peace out. All right. Yeah, let's get into some questions because it's been a while. All right. First question is, what is the most recent music that you actually bought? Um, I'm I'm kind of mad that they put actually in there. Like I ain't doing nothing but downloading free music all the time. Uh, my my most recent album that I bought was um K Tronada's uh 99.9 percent. Um, I actually did a uh, review on it. I really love it. I play it. I play like at least one of the songs like every day. Like uh, I've listened to the whole album through probably like four or five times. Like not like you know without stopping or skipping. Also, let's see. Um, yeah, I, I guess that's the most recent one. Now, the thing that's dope about that is because, like, that, I mean, I'm not going to review it again. The, the K. Trinata album is, is just dope. It is. Uh, I've 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 enjoyed it immensely. The thing is really, really on point. Y'all should go check it out. All right, check it. All right, let's see. What new projects are you working on now? Um, right now, I have a children's storybook that I'm working on. Uh, which I can't really talk about. Um, I'm working on a personal, like, kind of like this project for fun called Analog Girls. Now, I can talk about that. Analog Girls is where, you know, I'm, I've am i picked, you know, um, a, a number of women from the internet uh, and kind of, like, redrawn them digitally um, just to just to have some fun. Uh, I, think it, it, I think it's always cool to kind of, you know, stay, stay on your toes. Another project that I have is my ongoing project, which is just running my business of uh, a full tank design. A full tank design is a firm, well, I guess creative agency slash firm slash, you know, it's, we do a lot of creative work. So pretty much end to end creative work. So, you know, web design, graphic design, you know, uh, photography, video, music, we, you know, we're doing it all so we uh you know we have clients of course and we also have our own personal projects that we have that you know like we do inside of the business um let's see what's our next question all right our next question is what was your first movie crush um my first movie crush man uh my first movie crush would probably have to be like it's probably gonna we're gonna have to probably say it's probably gonna have to be vanity like either vanity or old girl from purple rain the one the one that went and cleansed herself in the waters <laughs> like i remember i remember those breasts i remember um was it i remember like fast times at ridgemont high i remember i remember seeing that like on i don't know like tnt or something but i remember like the scene with the girl in the in the pool even though they like cut it cut that scene short which i found out when i grew up like that's that's probably (laughs) that's probably another one of my crushes so like that oh girl from weird science oh i had a crush on her too man i you know what i had a lot of movie crushes maybe i need to do a whole show on movie crushes yeah because uh old girl from um weird science man she had the accent too bruh don't get me start like her um holly robinson pete when she was on um uh uh what is it 21 jump street i mean even now holly robinson pete like man i mean no disrespect to my boy rodney pete but she i mean i was little when i had a crush on her i mean is that, i mean well i mean now i guess maybe i have a crush on her now i'm just playing but um all right <laughs> let's get let's see if i can sneak one more question in here all right uh do you think Let's see. Do you think that there will ever be a Photoshop killer? Um, no. Um, here's here's why I don't think that there'll ever be a Photoshop killer. And they keep, you know, they always come out with, um, you know, like this program. And you'll see an article here that is like, this is a Photoshop killer. I, Adobe, Adobe just has like the design world on lock. They have everything covered. Um, and they, they, you know, with the pretty decent amount of updates and just the integration too many people use it I, there's nothing that's going to take over um photoshop you know there, there's nothing that's going to do that i don't 
I don't see it, at least not in the foreseeable future. But anyway, I'll see if I can pull it together another questions episode, maybe sometime next month. But anyway, I'm out. Take it easy. Peace. Three for five at one youngster is brought to you by a full tang design. Also sponsored in part by Nas Whip and Xrefo. Sweet doo dee doo dee doo dee, sweet dee dee dee.